Hey everybody, Dan here for Comic Frontline, and it is time for a comic book haul. Uh, kind of a big haul here, in the fact that, uh, as we uh, know, I've been switching over to trades. So, a good number of trades came in, um, some comics, but as uh, I'm doing probably uh, monthly shipping these days, not that many... Uh, comics and some of them aren't hot off the uh, press but uh, let's get to it we got Injustice number 9 which I basically got for the Tom Rainey cover so I'm kind of back and forth a little bit with actually buying Injustice at any point Mike S. Miller usually does the interiors which I really like but uh, Tom Rainey's uh, cover is really what pushes me over the edge to get this one uh, let's see. Book of Death from Valiant. I haven't really been getting a lot of Valiant books. Let's see if I can see if it was... Um, might have been on special or even a uh, free giveaway. So, uh, I do have that. Alright, Bloodstrike number two. Love the old uh, Extreme Comics. Uh, Rob Liefeld starting out with Image under Extreme Studios. A lot of great talents there. And uh, Bloodstrike, Brigade, uh, Youngblood, always great books. Uh, let's see. Gold Digger Swimsuit, number 23. So pretty much Fred Perry does... A Christmas special, Halloween special, swimsuit special, I think a summer special. Number 23, that tells you how long he's been doing that. Because I think they're pretty much once a year. Um, I was interested in this book. When you buy trades, you got to kind of do a little research. Uh, you know, if you're going to always wait for trades, do a little research. See if you can get some uh, preview pages up online somewhere. Protocol Orphans look pretty good. So I ended up getting that one, and I'll give you a quick statement as to uh, that the art does look good, okay? So without reading, uh, you have to go initially, just what you think if it's uh, worth it art-wise. This uh, artist seems to have a little uh, Terry Dotson influence, and Terry Dotson's one of my favorites, so... Nothing wrong with that. Mariano Navarro did this book. Okay, written by Michael Allen Nelson. So, Protocol Orphans. Uh, in the comments, you can leave me a uh, comment if any of these in particular you'd want me to try to kick up on top of my have to read pile for some type of review. Um, but continuing with our trades. We got Starlight, which was another image trade. Read the first issue. I was kind of iffy about it, but uh, saw it at a good price, and it did intrigue me to some degree. Mark Millar is a great writer, so uh, Goran Parlov did the art, and I'll be checking it out. I always buy uh, Amazing Spider-Man trades, so we got this amazing trade. Uh, Spider-Man trade, Spiral, and we got uh, Paul Barry here doing the art, Carlo Paul Barry, always great art. Uh, this one will probably go toward the top of my reading, because uh, here on Comic Frontline I did a review of the first four trades, so here's trade number five of Saga, okay, and I did enjoy that. I don't know, this might even beat it out though. As far as my reading list is concerned, uh, I was really enjoying, this is the last trade, I believe, Skull Kickers. Um, this is number six. I had gotten up to number five. So both Skull Kickers and Saga, I both uh, really enjoy. And they're both uh, image trades. So uh, Again, I did a little internet research. Looked pretty good. Sort of a good price. Uh, Descender. Uh, Jeff Lemire is a very good writer. Um, Essex County, I did a review of that 
here on Comic Frontline. Really enjoyed that. So I'm giving that a look. Uh, let's see. Well, apparently they online threw in some freebies like a Vertigo preview and a, let's see, Comic Book Legal Defense Fund type comic, censorship, uh, CLD banned books, weak handbook. So, banned books, weak handbook. All right. Uh, Empowered. Another collection of Empowered. This one's number nine. Uh, Adam Warren. Uh, originally, I guess, well known for Dirty Pair, did some Gen 13. That also was very good. And Empowered is his creator owned, uh, which I always enjoy. So we got another trade of that. All right. Um,. Happened to be in a discount store, and so they had a bunch of these. Avengers, the initiative. Uh, this is the second trade of that. And I wasn't sure if I had all these in issues. It was a bargain basement price, and I've been switching to trades anyway. So I said, you know what? I don't think I have all these issues. Let me just grab this for basically the price of one comic. Uh, let's see. All right, Kickstarter, a Kickstarter came in. When we talk about some of my favorite creators, the name Gene Ha comes up. Okay, this is May, his book that he offered on Kickstarter that I was uh, lucky enough to get in on. Uh, Gene Ha has done a variety of projects, but most noteworthy for me, one of my favorite comics of all time, Top Ten. Uh, if you haven't gotten the trade collection of Top Ten, that uh, gets my highest recommendation. But this is his new book, May. And along with that, it might have been a stretch goal that got us all this. This is like an art of oddities in a crapia from Files of Gene Ha. So, this really something I'll be looking forward to. Um, along with that, we got a bunch of stickers that came with the Kickstarter. We got a thing of prints that came with that Kickstarter. Oh, boy. Bookmarkers, postcards. So a lot of stuff came with that Kickstarter. All right. I don't want to keep you guys here all day, so let me just pop right into some New York Comic Con stuff. Um, well, I'll start out with this shirt. I know this is supposed to be like a new Superman shirt, they said, but to me, that is the Fleischer Superman shirt. Pick that up. I picked some other shirts up, but I feel I should maybe save those for wearing on video rather than just uh, show each shirt. They had a uh, exclusive Netflix print of Daredevil Netflix. I'm not sure who did the art on this. And this, let's see, production concept art. Almost looked like Casada, if you ask me, but um, probably maybe not. He's a little more stylized. But they had this at the Marvel booth. Talking of, as I said, one of my favorite artists, Terry Dodson. He had a collection here of Red One, which has been coming out from Image, but this is a nice, big, uh, hardcover edition of it. Uh, I'm not always so hot on hardcover, but I am pretty stoked that he has it, you know, oversized, that you can see the his gorgeous art a bit better. Uh, so I was happy to get that. Um, I don't know. Some car lister uh, had a little thing where they uh, could have you, I guess, if you check out uh, New York Comic Con video, if, uh, you're able to, like, lift a car. Um, but they also gave out these tubes, which I guess... 
are good for uh, maybe carrying a poster or maybe uh, carrying some blueprints if you're Mike Brady. Um, so, oh, we had another bag here. More New York Comic Con. Uh, this I have to get. It's a bit of a Godzilla figure. Okay, I think you can press a button, make noise. It is from Godzilla Circa uh, Destroy All Monsters, which I don't really see a lot of Godzilla pieces from that era. So uh, apparently there is a Ghidra that had come out also. Uh, I don't really need that. It's just cool that... Uh, Maybe if I come across it, but they didn't have it. Um, yeah, but it is pretty cool. This Godzilla piece. Not a big uh, figure. It's probably just a three or four inch figure. Um, and this, they had a Fleischer style Superman statue or maquette. You want to be fancy because that's what it says my cat um so it'll be the fleischer superman which judging from my shirt as i said to me this is fleischer superman so um apparently they made some other ones here animated green lantern animated robin animated harley quinn I actually bought this from uh I don't know if you've seen the TV show uh, Toy Hunter. That, uh, I believe his name was Jordan Pembroke on that show. He uh, had a TV show on cable here looking for toys. And uh, it was actually his booth that I bought this at. But big Superman fan and uh, couldn't pass it by. And that's going to do it for this haul. Uh, keep coming back to Comic Frontline. I um, was there with uh, Chris. Uh, and we did some interviews and everything, so those videos are going to get posted. And uh, also, feel free to uh, go to my Argo Comics face, uh, Facebook YouTube page, um, and you can subscribe there. I got uh, reviews of my own comics. That's A-R-G-O Comics. Uh, and keep coming back to Comic Frontline for all your comics news, reviews, and entertainment.